When I wore a younger man's clothes, I left my home in New Zealand and traveled to Europe. And after landing at Gatwick Airport in England, I caught a train to Victoria Station in London, where I then had to buy a ticket on the underground or the subway to get to where I was going. 80 million passengers get on and off at Victoria Station every year. And that's not counting others who transfer there. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. And I didn't even know how to buy a ticket at the ticket machine. On top of that, I had to figure out how to get to where I was going. I can tell you this, I didn't just jump on the first train I saw. I looked at the tube map and I followed that. Without the map, I'd probably still be at that station trying to figure it all out. Proverbs 16.25 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. You can do what seems right to you, or you can do the wise thing and do what's right to God, which is revealed in the Bible. There's that old line that says, When you come to a fork in the road, take it. And people everywhere are doing that and ending up in a fix. God wants to provide direction and guidance for our lives. The Bible tells us again and again that God will do just that, so there's really no reason to go it alone. If you'll take the time to look to God and consider His Word, and if you'll want God's will done and not yours, you'll know soon enough just what you need to do in a given situation. And maybe that's the key, wanting God's will done and not your own. A way might seem right to you and me, but if it isn't God's way, it isn't going to end well. Today, when you consider God's will for your life, consider God's will for your life. We might want one thing, but God might want another. Check with the Bible and let God speak to you through His Word. It's always best to go God's way. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.